We're going to talk about Fable. Greg, your review just hit the site a couple That's months right. ago. Tell us about Fable. It's been around. It's been they've been working on it for a while. How did it turn out? It it turned out pretty well actually. It's it's a great game. It's uh, it's got a lot of really kind of interesting, weird, really funny stuff to it. It's it's a crazy game. There's not a lot of stuff out there that it kind of takes this many risks and does this many weird things. I mean, you could get married in this game and hassle your wife and flip people off, but you don't have to play that way. You can't. You don't have to be a jerk. You can, you know, be kind of good and act like a goody two-shoes and rescue people, all, all kinds of stuff like that. So basically it really does deliver on the promise of allowing you to be either a good or an evil uh, heroic type, go through this fantasy world and age and... So it has all this this stuff on the outside edges, you yeah. know, the, the marriage and all that stuff, but what is the core of the game? What are you actually doing? Uh, good point. The, what you're actually doing in the game is going through what's basically kind of a Zelda-style action-adventure game. Okay. It's, it's not that uh, original or kind of innovative of a game at its core. It's, it's, it works very well and everything and uh, controls well, uh, but you are kind of going from point to point, solving quests. Uh, there's a linear story that's actually pretty short, uh, so it is sort of this combination of a straightforward game in the middle and all this other kind of weird stuff on the outskirts that, that you can sort of experience at your leisure. Mm. So th <laughs> then I understand there's like basically three different core elements to the game as well, like magic and archery and, and, and swordsmanship. How, how does your development work in those three different areas? Um, ba basically it, it, works, it works pretty well. Your character learns how to fight with uh, close range weapons with with bows and also with magic mm -hmm. uh, pretty much right from the start and as you develop you'll you'll get to choose kind of which skills you gain in those categories and you gain experience points uh, separately for those skills and and can um, can sort of uh, specialize your character differently you you can't quite just become like a pure fighter or something and have no magic it doesn't work that way but you could have like a different leaning and it, and it turns out that all three of the different options work pretty well in themselves so it's it's viable to be like mostly a magic user or something like that so there's some variety there cool so tell me actually I want to know a little bit more about the being good versus being yeah. evil part is it easier to be evil or um, easier to be good? It's, it's, more, it's a lot more tempting to be evil. Like right when you first start the game, when you're a little kid, basically you could either do good things or you could run around like breaking windows and breaking barrels. And the game actually has like a good solid feel to when you, when you smack stuff. So it's pretty satisfying to be running around like kicking chickens or doing whatever, punching your dad, you know, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So the, Just the game- like real life. <laughs> yeah, the, the game lets you totally kind of goof around and it, and it rewards you for, for doing stuff like that. Uh, basically, your character starts to change uh, physically as you act either good or evil. He also noticeably gets older a as you play the game. It was actually pretty wild because by the time I finished the game uh, the first time or by the time I you know, got through my main playing session, my character was like in his 50s, so he was this kind of grizzled, veteran-looking guy, and there are screenshots up on the side of him. Uh, and then I, you know, went back and started over and started experimenting with some other stuff, and I was really struck by how different he looks when he first started out in his adulthood, when he's like 20 years old and has kind of a clear complexion and everything, and, and it happens really subtly over the course of the game that he just turns kind of crazy and weathered looking, and it's a, it's a pretty remarkable effect, actually. So the, the screenshots and, and video make, uh, make the game look pretty good. How are the graphics overall in the game? Um, the graphics are really impressive for the most part. It, it, uh, it, it's just a beautiful looking game a lot of the time as you're, as you're running around through the different types of environments. I mean, it's all kind of standard fantasy stuff, you know, forests and caverns and so forth, but um, th there's just a whole lot of detail in the graphics and th th there's some frame rate stuttering stuff and like some of the character models are actually kind of ugly. So there, there are a few kind of rough edges, but usually it is this game where as you're running around in it, you're, you're sort of amazed at uh, kind of how everything looks and fits together. So I, I understand you got a, an email about uh, the graphics in the well, game. Well, that, that's right. I, it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. I, it, it's the first email I got uh, about the review of Fable, and what, what time did the review go up? Like 3 or something? Yeah, yeah. So this email came in at like 3.16 p.m. I'm not going to mention who from. He, he actually didn't sign off. I assume it's a he. Um, and, and I'd like to read this. Go, please, go right ahead. Uh, I want to hear this. So the, the subject is Fable Review. 
Well, Greg, you did it again. You continue to fail me with your inadequate writing and moronic reviews in relation to the scoring you give. Specifically, in the Fable review, you gave the graphics an 8 out of 10, yet in your review of the graphics section, you said, Excellent, dreamlike, little details are everywhere, larger than life, dense with color, weather effects look very real, watching your hero take shape over time is a one-of-a-kind experience that, in and of itself, encourages spending lots of time playing Fable. You're basically saying to gamers that the graphics alone are a reason to play this game. Then you have two negatives about the graphics. Noticeably hitches up on occasion, and some of the game's characters are uncharacteristically ugly and look somewhat out of place. Now with that said, you gave graphics an 8. Are you taking two points off just, just two minor graphically issues? Uh, <laughs> Why are you contradicting your adjectives and experience of graphics with the grade of 8? Would a 9 be out of the question? I would like to go back to some of your past reviews with 8 graphics and tell me that Fable graphics are on the same level. After reading your graphics section, it sounded like you were going to give it a 10, especially since you summarized the entire graphics section with these words. The overall level of artistry in Fable's graphics ultimately makes this game look superb. This level of graphical quality enriches the overall experience. Boy, that sounds like an 8 to me. Thanks again, Greg, for reinforcing my opinion of you as a genuine game reviewer whose words mirror the overall grade the game receives. It continues to bolster your, rep it continues to bolster your reputation as a gamer's bias, quote, editor. Thanks for the laughs. Oh, and please save yourself the time of sending me the standard rules for how GameSpot grades and reviews the games. As soon as I saw the 8.6, I knew you reviewed it. No surprise there. So, yeah, uh, I wrote him back at 3.21 p.m. and said, uh, well, uh, apologies. Um, I said, congratulations on being the first person to email me about my review of Fable. I hope the game somehow manages to live up to your unrealistic expectations. And I signed off and said, P.S., I gave the game a graphic score of 9. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah I, yeah, I can't make this stuff up. Yeah. That's, that's learned. <laughs> Learn to read, I guess. The moral <laughs> uh, of the, of the moral he's story. just so angry, man. He's just so angry. It's he saw that rage. Uh, the the top, uh, yeah, the top item in the game space is like an it it starts with like gameplay eight or something. So he must have read gameplay and graphics wrong, or just flipped out and wrote his manifesto. Like, but saw it, just everything turned red, and before yeah. he knew it, he had. I mean, I, I, you know, we're always very open to criticism, and yeah. and as Jeff can attest, we spent a whole lot of time looking over that review before we decided to commit to it. So, uh, yeah, the graphics score is 9. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It was a great review. Thank you. Keep up the good work. It's a great email.